Hey everybody, this is Dr. Lakeisha J. Cole of thefaithoutcome.com and I am guiding you on day three of the Better Health for Better Days fat loss program. And as you see, I'm outside where I live. It's warm today and my legs need a rest just like i'm sure yours do if you've been following the program and today i'm going to just allow my legs to rest by walking and i will be walking a great distance but we still want to keep the theme of intensity so what i've done which um only if you feel comfortable with it only if your physical level is able to just um, i'm running and walking so i'm gonna run and walk for uh usually this is about an hour 30 minutes or two hours for me um, just I have a trail as you know if you've been following me for a while that I complete and I'm going to be doing my trail today I haven't been doing it because it's been cold so today for my rest day but keeping intense mode strong I will be walking and then running walking running walking running until i complete my trail and for you again i'm assuming that there are not many beginners uh starting with an intense program but if you are following this program and you've made modifications uh i would just say to walk and keep your pace uh, your legs will be resting because you're not lunging or jumping or any of that. Uh, but keep the intense strong. Keep your body working. Uh, so again, I will be walking, jogging, and I don't have my belt, so I'll have my phone in hand. So I seriously doubt it if I'm going to be doing something more intense but if so i will definitely log in and let you know what i have going on but for right now that's what i would do just walk and walk with intensity allow your legs to get rest but still be in motion working toward your fat loss goal And I have probably been uh, walking, well, I actually started off running. Uh, and then as I got to the walking portion, I decided to do a video. But I will be running as soon as I get to my field that I normally run because again, when I'm out here outside on my trail, my body, it just, my mind and my body, they just take over. They're so used to me, you know, being on this trail. So I can't really say for me exactly what I'll be doing because sometimes just because I do it, my body is just so used to it. It's like, even if I'm not thinking about it, when I get to an area where I mostly run or sprint, my body just, it just takes off. And uh, that's just one thing about when you get, you know, trained and you're consistent, even if you haven't done it in a while, your body, it, it will just do it. You know, that's the amazing thing about the human body and mind that body mind connection is very strong 
and it's really nice out here today. I didn't check the weather, which is something I normally do, but it's very nice. Uh, I started to bring my jump rope and jump rope dog, but again, I misplaced my belt, and this is like, I don't know, I think this would be the third one that I purchased if I would have, you know, purchased one. And I know it's just somewhere in the house. I misplaced it uh, because it's been cold, so I haven't been jump rope jogging outdoors. And um, I put it somewhere, uh, but wherever it is, I think it's with my cleats because I don't know where they are either right at this moment. But uh, <clears throat> yeah, but I definitely want you to keep going stay inspired the most important part of this 11 day fat loss is discipline like the mindset of self-discipline this is not about oh i just want to get in shape real quick or oh i just want to drop this fat in 11 days here's a nice quick program i can follow no this is about creating a mindset of self-discipline in order to be consistent you must be self-disciplined that's what it is that's what stops the weight up and down it, it puts a stop to that once you focus on i'm being self-disciplined for my health my overall health and well-being that is what you're focusing on that is the goal so uh, again i definitely recommend developing and creating a mindset of being disciplined learning what your weaknesses are uh, learning your strengths and working on those weaknesses working to change those bad habits this is something that you do and you notice it gets you off track or it makes things difficult for you in your life the way you look the way you feel those things you can work on those things and cut those things out Okay, here it is. Here's my trail. You know I'm gonna run that whole field, so I'm gonna put it on pause and come back.